You got a yard littered with trees. There's a power line right there and even a tractor moving in for cleanup. It seemed like deja vu in Dexter when another strong storm blew through. The wind was switching around. And then I could feel it on my ears going in and out, and then I knew that it was a tornado. Dale Lesser was inside his barn while outside the aluminum silo was smashed. Cart turned, trees torn, power out, and here. Now it's gone. His son's corn planter now crooked. You were up in your room. Yeah, I was up in my room. I heard some hail hit inside the house, and so I went over and looked, and it was raining sideways. And then. The power went out and it started blowing real hard and I just ran down the stairs and went for the basement. The Lessers are now picking up the pieces on their 1,200 acre family farm. It's been here for more than 100 years, but escaped the major tornado damage that came through town months ago. Plates, okay. some Thanks. nectarines, Thank you. Hey, um, plasticware. That has now made almost everyone in Dexter like family. I saw you bring up pizzas and a whole big crate of food. Yep, because I've been through this. We were hit by the March 15th tornado, and the outpouring of love and volunteers was wonderful. And, and they helped us and ground up stumps of our trees, our 100-year-old trees. And, and um, so it's the least I can do. We got to get our electricity back, and we've got some damaged equipment. No one got hurt, and so... It could have been a lot worse. Okay, is that your pregnant sheep over there? Well, it's my sister-in-law's. <laughs> it's my sister-in-law's. Yeah, the, the, the animals all seem okay. The Lessers will be working into the night to get those trees cleared and their power back up and all now under what has become a beautiful evening complete with a double rainbow. In Dexter, I'm Glenda Lewis, 7 Action News.